Good morning YouTube. This is David Paz. Welcome to my channel where I like to DIY renewable energy and energy efficiency projects. These are three arrays in the backyard. They are solar arrays that I have built over the past few years. And if you want any details on any of these projects, you can check out some of my past videos. Now this video that we're watching is a time-lapse video of how the sun is moving across the solar arrays. Uh, now we could say how the earth is turning oriented to the sun or we can get more technical with it but the point is that some of the arrays are in sunshine early in the day and some of the arrays don't get sun till the afternoon and then vice versa in in the evening the land that i own is less than one acre so i'm kind of uh, i have a very narrow little window where the sun is actually striking this backyard I've taken out as many trees as I can uh, until I'm butted up against my neighbor's property. And so some of the afternoon tree shadows, well, we just can't help. They're the neighbors. And the shadow in the morning that is moving across is the shadow from the house. Now different times of year, this is a bigger or lesser of a problem. But the main point is that I don't have a very long solar window where all of these are getting the sunlight. I thought today would be a great day for a time-lapse video because we got a lot of snow overnight, but as the sun is warming up those panels, the snow is sliding off. The air temperature started at 12 degrees Fahrenheit or about negative 11 degrees Celsius, and it peaked out about 27 degrees Fahrenheit or negative three degrees Celsius. So the air temperature never went above freezing, but when the sun can hit those panels, the snow does slide off because it's warming the surface of the panels. Now the first array to get sunlight is the one that's on the left of the screen. This array is oriented south by southeast, so it's actually capturing that morning sunlight a little bit better. It is made up of 14 solar panels. Each panel is 365 watts for a total array of 5,110 watts. Now this was the newest array that we just finished building, my wife and I. And again, we have a video on that if you'd like to see more details. Unfortunately, it's not yet wired up. So the solar panels are sitting there and not doing anything for me. Oh, it's painful to know that, but that's the truth. Now the middle array in the screen is oriented exactly south. Now this array is my oldest array in the backyard and it's also made up of 365 watt panels. We have 12 panels on this array for a total of 4,380 watts. This array is tied into my Victron charge controller, uh, which has been running this whole time that I've had the array in the backyard. The array on the right hand side of your screen is oriented south by southwest. It's capturing that afternoon sunlight better because it's shaded all morning by the shadow of the house. That array has the oldest solar panels on it. Those solar panels are, wow, 14 or 15 years old. I purchased them used off Craigslist. The whole array, even though it's the same square footage, is a lot less watts. It is 3,360 watts for the array. All three arrays are angled at 45 degrees and my house is in Massachusetts, which is about 42 degrees north latitude. Now I'd like to put out the fun challenge to all my friends on YouTube that if you also have a solar array, I would love to see how the sun moves across your yard. Am I the only one with such a narrow solar window? Does everybody else have a wide open field for their solar arrays? Please let me know in the comments below, and if you do make a time-lapse video, go ahead and link to your time-lapse video in the comments below so that we can all check them out together. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoy the videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share.